Hi all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And today I've got a very special guest on. I have got Michael from Ireland who is dance mad. And we're going to be talking about the Premier League. Um, dance and just chat about it really. So really excited to have you on the show. Hi Michael, how are you today? I'm good. Good, good, good. So tell us first of all, Michael, a little bit about how you got into darts. Um, well, it was one day, um, I was about eight, I think, um, over Christmas. And I was just on the telly and kind of like flicking through the channels. And then the darts came on and I just started watching it. And I just kept on watching it since then, kind of. Fantastic. And what sort of level do you play at? Um... I, just, I don't really play at any level. I just play with my brother sometime inside the, inside where my dartboard is. Fantastic. It's all just about having fun, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. a it's a hoop sport yeah. to get in now. And there's so many uh, youngsters. Do you know what I mean? It's worth, uh, for yeah. youngsters that are coming through, the prize money's going through the roof. So um, darts is certainly going in the right direction. So who's your favourite player? Uh, Michael Van Gerwen. Michael Van Gerwen, is it? Yeah. Any particular reason or just always liked him? Um, I just always like the way kind of how confident he is. Yeah, he's he's a machine on the dartboard, isn't he? Yeah. I'm yeah. Ho I'm I'm I like Michael Van Gogh, but I'm really pleased that Rob Cross is as as just beat him in the world, and I think it'll open yeah. it up a lot more over the next sort of 2018. Give him a bit more competition. Definitely. Definitely. Van Gogh Van Gogh was kind of like beating everyone in sight, so at least now there's someone who can beat him. Definitely, and I think also it's giving him something to think about as well. Obviously, there's loads yeah. of players that are capable, like Peter Wright, my favourite player. But, yeah, yeah, I think it'll be a lot better like that. Um, so, yeah. listen, I know that you've recently started your own dance channel, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's called International Darts. I've okay. been lots of stuff. Um, I do, uh, I, my first video was a Premier League table prediction. I've been doing a series called Will They Ever Win a Major Again from the likes of Raymond Van Barneville to Gary Anderson. Fantastic. Um, I'll, I'll be talking about how the PDC order of merit needs to change because I think at the moment it's not right. What, on the two-year yeah. rolling basis, do you mean? Uh, yeah, I think it should be kind of put over a one-year because like Ian White's in the top 16 and higher than the likes of Kyle Anderson, Dimitri Vandenberg. Yeah. Even though like, two of them are better players and they've entered as many tournaments, if not more, like, yeah, I know what you mean. It's really difficult, isn't it? It's I suppose it's one of those ones where, um, you know, it's good for the players that have got the tour cards and got the two years uh, safety net. But like you say, for the others to break into it, it it's difficult. And you get some, like yeah. Adrian Lewis is a prime example, isn't he? You know, he has yeah. been up there for two years, yeah. not been great. Yeah. I think he's now dropped down to world number 20. But it can be done, obviously, because Rob Cross has done it in a year. But it is very, yeah. very difficult. And I do see where you're coming from. It'll give other players, like I say, a lot of the better players a chance to get in to the top 16 quicker, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would, it would give, uh, like, the likes of Kyle Anderson should be playing at the Unibet Masters, I think. Cause, yeah. Like, I think if he was playing over Ian White, we'd have seen a, a better game than Rob Cross v Ian White and Rob Cross v Kyle Anderson. And, like, you want to see the, like, best players playing against each other. Yeah, I know. I agree with that. I think also, like, obviously, Kim Highbrook snuck in being number 17 now yeah. because Taylor's out, isn't he? But he's not been great, has he? Right. He's not been great at all, and... There's a couple of other people in there who haven't been great either. The like the likes of James Way had a really poor year. Yeah, he did, didn't he? And like people aren't really being re uh, rewarded for having better years than certain players. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's I know there's been a lot of talking points on it about how it's done. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about um, the Premier League. So let's have a look. We've obviously got um, the selection was Michael Van Gerwen, Peter Wright, Rob Cross, Gary Anderson, Daryl Gurney, Mencha Silovic, Raymond Van Barneveld, Michael Smith, Gerwin Price and Simon Whitlock. What did you think to the lineup um, for the Premier League selection this year, Michael? I'm happy with it apart from maybe Simon Whitlock. Okay. I have a stats out I have a stats out in front of me that he got he got knocked down the second round in the World Championship, quarter finalist in the UK Open, world match play he got to the last sixteen. He was runner up in the Grand Prix, got knocked out in the group stages of the Grand Slam of Darts. European Championship he was quarter finalist and um in the last thirty two of the players championship. Um I'd have liked to seen someone like Kyle Anderson in. Or Dimitri Van der Berg, maybe? Um, I think Van der Berg just needs another year. Like, 
he's a really top talent and you kind of don't want him to be ruined by the Premier League. Like, yeah, so a many out. A couple of other players like um, the, the Kim Hybrex probably got ruined by it. Yella Klassen, um, Wes Newton, um, Mark Webster, all yeah. of them got um, they did, yeah. Really yeah. Wes Newton, especially, he's one of the biggest declines yeah. that I've seen from, uh, you know, being a top player to going into that. I think he had a couple of years in it, and he just fell to bits afterwards. It's, I think, it's just the pressure of week out, week in, week out, yeah. of playing at that yeah. level. Do you know what I mean? And just getting beaten by yeah. the best players in the world, and then going into other confident, um, sorry, other tournaments. I think you then lack that confidence of not winning yeah. on a weekly basis, don't you? So I think it was a good decision as well. But I. Had Anderson um, in my lineup, who I wanted to go in there as well. Yeah, um, Anderson's had a good year. I think like the semi final in the European Championships against Van Gerwen that could have gone either way. Yeah, um, he won the Auckland Darts match against Cabby, didn't he? My favourite, one of my favourite, beat Cabby. Yeah, um, he's one. He's one of the. He's one of the top scorers. He scores one eighties for fun. I he think does. He's proud with, would love him, and if he was in, we might even have seen a nine darter. I don't know. Yeah, he's very. Good. He is, isn't he? He's awesome. I think he's a brilliant player. Yeah, I was gutted not to see him in it as well, to be honest. I didn't know whether Gerwin Price was going to make it, if I'm being honest. I know there'd been a lot of chat on it and lots of people going backwards and forwards on comments, but I thought, yes, I know he's a good player, but I didn't know whether he'd get in, but he's obviously there too. I, I was surprised he got in, but I, I agree with the decision. Yeah. I think, I think like, in the World Cup of Darts, he's playing against some of the top people and... In the match play, the blind 180 against Taylor, he doesn't fear anyone. <laughs> no, he so don't he, care, does he? No, he doesn't. Like, he he he'll just do what he wants, and like he could have he could have actually beaten Van Gerwen in the second round. Yeah, he of could. The World Championship, if he had hit the double top. I think the needle between um, him and Cabby uh, in that match that time certainly affected Cabby more than it did uh, Price. He just doesn't care, does he? Like, that's why he's called the Iceman. He does not yeah. care, does he? Yeah, he doesn't care. And I, I, if, if you're seen like blind 180s every now and then, it wouldn't be bad. <laughs> you might be doing them in a few years. Yeah, right. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? So, who do you think's going to win it this year? Or let's, who do you think are going to be the top four, Michael? Um, I think it'll be Michael Smith. Um, in my in my original video, I said Raymond Van Barneveld, but I'm actually going to change to Peter Wright. <laughs> yeah. <Rob, clears throat> Rob Cross and Michael Van Gerwen. That's what my top four is. You think they're going to be the O2 on the semi-finals night, in for that yeah. big prize money of quarter of a million quid for the winner? Yeah. Oh, nice too. So I'll tell you what, let's go on to something else now. Let's have a look. Um, so let's have a look at your prediction. So the opening night we can see um, is it's in Dublin. Um, I think it's at, I forgot, is it the Free Arena in Dublin? It's on uh, February the 1st. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's just have a look at the fixtures for that night. And it'd be nice if you could give your predictions of who you think yeah. is going to win on the opening night. So first up, we've yeah. got Mencher Sulevich against Simon Whitlock. Who are you going for in that one? I'll go uh, Mencher Sulevich, 7-4. Oh, nice. And then we go on to the Flying Scotsman Anderson against Michael Smith. I'm going to go for a 6-6 draw. Yeah. Um, and then we've got Daryl Gurney against Raymond Van Barneveld. That's going to be a good one. I'm going to go 7-5, Barney. Excellent. And then we go to MVG, your favourite player, against Rob Cross. <laughs> You're going to be back in MVG here, I know it. Um, I think it'll actually be 6-6. It's going to be a draw, dear. And the opening night finishes off with Peter Wright against um, Gerwin Price. I, I think that it'll be a shock. I think Price will win 7-5. No way! Oh, excellent. I'm going for Peter Wright on that one. I'll tell you what, what I do like about you, Michael, is I love your enthusiasm for it. And the way that you've got all the stats in the video when you was talking yeah. through Whitlock there, come really well prepared for the video. Yeah. Really good. That's excellent. So just um just before we round this video up, I just want to go on to the Coup School um for the results and that. Obviously, day one we see Corey Cabby, Eddie Dutson, um, pick it up from the UK, and Jeffrey Deswans um from Germany. Um and then yesterday we saw Robert Owen and Alan Taban from the, the UK, and then Mario Ro is it Robbie or whatever it is from Germany. Um yeah. so that's day one and day two. Um have you been following any of that? Um I've just been kind of like 
seen who got their tour card, but I haven't been watching it. No. It's nice to see Alan Tabben come through. It's a bit of a blast from the past, isn't yeah. he? Uh, obviously yeah. a top player a good few years back now. Hey. I think what the, I think what one of the best things about darts is is the age gap. Like you look at the likes of Corey Cadby getting the Q card, but then you also had Phil Taylor was playing last year. And yeah. Two of them playing against each other, and you don't really get that in any other sport. No, it's great, isn't it? Like I say, some of them like that. What about about forty years apart, aren't they? Or thirty years? I've yeah. just lost you on the camera, Michael. Yeah, I think I pressed something there. Um, Sorry, we lost more. We're going to get him back in a minute. Uh, you're back. There you go. You're back, mate. Um, so, excellent. So, listen, well, thank you ever so much for coming on the show today and talking about this with me. Um, like I say, guys, please check out Michael's channel. The other thing, just before you go, as a thank you, would you like um, would you like a Darts Planet t-shirt or cap or something, me to send you something? Yeah. If you leave me your uh, um, address after the thing, I'll get a. Uh, what would you like, a T-shirt or cap? Uh, a T-shirt, please. I'll get you a. T I'll get you a DancePlanet.tv T-shirt um, out to you as well. So listen, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I want to thank Michael once again for being part of it and talking the Premier League. It's been lots of fun. Um, as always, guys, if you do like it, please do leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and check out DartsPlanet.tv. Um, all the latest videos that are on there. It's been a pleasure as always, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>